bunch of victims. And... <laughs> well, the boy New York City back at it again. Welcome back to Doom. And as you can tell, I'm still kind of planning some stuff here. As for me, I'm kind of a careful planner when it comes to me returning. Someone else is here. If you're hiding, I suggest you show yourself! All you had to do was look behind you, idiot. Uh, hi. Do I know you? Don't act like you... <laughs> either, you either you're just playing a stupid act, or... Deal. First of all, you better watch it. You don't know who you're talking to. Second of all, you must have knew I that clone. Know. You must have knew that clone of mine. I think it was a clone. But at any rate, late Daddy XC. At first I was gonna say why haven't you gotten in contact with me, but now I see the real reason. Kinda stupid how your clones are weak and pathetic. I don't even know who the hell you are. And the reason why my clone is weak is because he worked for that pathetic devil in the past. Hmm. Makes sense then. Well, you must know who I am. I'm Sailor EXC. I know who you are. I've been doing some watch here across the multiverse. I know you well. Hmm. But... Hmm. I know your history. But there is one thing we have in common. A frill? Go on. Ring a bell? Yeah, that weak little cat. Let's just say she's a target. But I like to watch my prey very carefully. On their next move. Hmm. And what well, do you, you do? Have fun with her. And I what already... do you do? Crawl in people's minds. It's kind of stupid if you ask me. Uh, not as stupid as that jacket of yours. But you don't hear me whining and complaining about it. I could kill you. I wouldn't try it. Like I care. I'm just gonna continue on. Guess you can stay, but don't. Even test me. I, I don't like visitors. Hmm. I can tell. You got that antisocial personality. What? What the hell are you even doing here? Uh, apparently, I'm just searching about and whatnot. Just planning my next move. Apparently, I saw you in the neighborhood. Until... I found out that you're just the real deal and not the clone that you had. Even though my clone has been doing some of the work, I gotta admit, Blade knows I'm back. And what I'm hearing about an ultimatum from a, to a kid named Austin. Don't know, don't care, not my prerogative. You sure got an attitude problem, that's one thing. There is no attitude. Right. Let's see. So what's the real reason why you've been laying low? Hmm. 
the whale weighs in. If you really gotta know, all I'm doing is just doing, is just doing what I need to do. With Blade, he's just nothing more than a obstacle in the way. But then again, anything with a heartbeat, they are just obstacles in the way, but also extra victims to test out to see what a living being is truly like. Kind of lame if you ask me. <laughs> well, I do have another objective, but that is classified for the time being. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, no. that is not... mm -hmm. Go on. Even if that's so, I'm pretty sure that after what's going on, again, you're not really worth my time. But your plan just kind of intrigued me a bit. Carry on. The only thing I could say is I did have a partner to help me out, though. Chill the I know him. Stupid... Yeah, though he made the most stupidest thing and got himself killed. He's not really worth working for me anyway. Let's... Oh, doesn't really matter either way. He made a stupid decision. He paid the price. Now I have to pick up the slack, but, you know what, it doesn't matter. about this question, but I'll just ask anyway. What's your main goal? You said that you didn't care, so why should I give you an answer? Again, it intrigues me. I may not care, but I'm still listening. Hmm. My main goal Simply to eradicate this planet. Eradicate? I'd rather self- I'd rather make it to salvation. Sounds stupid. Think about it. You'll know where I'm going. Let me- hm. So, there's a thing you need to know, little girl. Once you get to my level, You'll know what I'm talking about. If I get to your level, I would have asked for a quick death. Because it sounds stupid. Say it all you want. Honestly, I got to say it all you want. Yak it up. Pull the whole teenager state that you uh, don't care. Where you're pretty much an adult age. We really are that much of an idiot. If I did care, I'm incapable of it. That just makes you cocky. S makes you still act like a child. I 
wouldn't care if I called you Grandpa then. Nope. Like I heard that before. <laughs> Tell me. Well, it's better Tell to call me. you Grandpa then. Hmm? Tell me, young patty one. Have you ever heard of the Demon King called Mundus? Back at the Legends. I love one, stories. One of the most powerful de one of the most powerful devils across this multiverse. And that's where yours truly was born. He made me. I'm not a ca I'm not really a counterpart from Blade. I don't even have his body. You see... Oh no, I'm a different entity. I am one who doesn't show mercy. Sure, I may show mercy on some people. It's just entertaining. But that was the old me. Now... I'm not giving anyone chances. Hmm. Again, call me what you want. Someone like you is not worth my time anyway. Even if you do try to fight me, it wouldn't work. I, I have no intention of fighting. And you made the right move. I don't want to embarrass you in front of these people. I'm incapable of being embarrassed. Though, hmm. so, however, it is quite intriguing. An EXC that isn't an EXC. So Rather a creation of the Devil King himself. That got your attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Though, makes me wonder though. Why... Why would he take Blake's form then? To answer your question, you know Blade's history back when he was young, right? Pretty much the extremely cocky has killed many people. That's the orange and head. That's the orange hedgehog, which I'll see soon. I'm talking about Blade, the more serious type. Do you want to know why him? I was, a, I was a normal demon. I was embarrassed by him. But ever since Mundus gave me the power he, when he offered it, I never felt more alive. And quite frankly, I had people fear me ever since. Need to, and I don't need to go into anyone's mind for that at all. Sure, I may have messed with Frail's mind, but that was just out of entertainment. Just to have some fun. But... With me... The fun's over. Once I'm fully prepared, once I'm fully know my plan, I'll go out there. Maybe I'll consider back. Maybe I'll consider you if you pass the tests of mine if I just think about having you around. We will hmm. see on that. Again, I have my own prerogative. So you'd rather not take over the whole multiverse? Have it claim is yours. Think about it. Guys like Blade, and everyone you fought, that you failed against, 
or quote unquote let. You don't need to get in their minds where you can just make their nightmares become real. Why not just tear them apart? Now where's the fun in that? Like I said, I feed off their fear. Then I go for the kill. Once the once they have an idea on who they're dealing with. Then, I'll kill them. Depends if they don't kick me off. Either way, I have more amusement and entertainment when I... When, apparently what some of the older people like to say, experiment on my victims. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm sensing some unusual energy from you that I never felt before. Hmm. It's really pathetic that you're working with someone again. Well, you may call it pathetic, though, let's just say that... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing at. It's nothing to be proud of. Oh, it is. Especially if there's someone you want to get rid of so badly, you watch them suffer, starting from the inside. And who is this one person that you want to suffer so badly? My own counterpart. Oh, I've heard stories about her. Honestly, she's not worth my time. <laughs> Even if she does confront me, I heard she's been going through some Distress, stressful states. That's what makes it entertaining. The more she suffers, the more she's going to tear herself apart. But don't, so for, but I don't will forget what she is. Hmm? Go There's on. There's actually a few things about her. For one, I thought I whenever I hear her heart race, it sounds extremely irregular, unlike a normal being. Oh. There is something with her. Either she's hiding it, or she doesn't know herself. Then again, she's one of those pathetic idiots that puts others before herself. Yeah, I heard she's still doing it to this day. Which is why she's not even my t with my during my time to begin with. Even if she does find me, she's just wasting mine. And I could possibly end up killing her. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, this ain't no. a maybe. This is certain. All I can say is never underestimate us. She may be part angel, but at the same time, there's one other thing about her. How can someone with a pulse have the power of an EXC? Wait, what? <laughs> Ever since, well, from what I've been informed, ever since she had dealt with her little darkness situation, something inside her was growing. You mean? There's a dark Hold on. power. You mean Mira? 
Yes. At any rate, though, if I may finish. Proceed. Now, ever since that day, I sensed something else darker growing. Initially, I thought it was a possibility of keeping her balance. But, after a while, before Chill.exe got himself killed, he ambushed her and boyfriend. Boyfriend? This he is... Severed. Okay, that's kinda new to me. If I may finish. <laughs> when he saw her, apparently there was a power within her. The same power that an EXC would have. Though the thing is, only those who have no pulse, who have no soul, can have a power of such. She's somehow able to control it on her own. And apparently, she just calls it a form. That form being? She calls it savage. I believe she's just trying to... Oh, that... Keep the scent off of her. That's cute. <laughs> but it's still doesn't answer the question. How can someone with a pulse have the power of an EXC? That is confusing. Usually... Usually a power, like you said, that is, no soul should have the power of it. Maybe when I go see the Sailor Scout, I'll make sure I get answers. But that's for a, but that's for another time. For the time being, just let her distress and suffering deal with her. I'll be enjoying the fear. Gives me more time to think. You meet my club. It was by off chance. Apparently, he was wanting to show us the new power the power of the devil. Especially thanks to that Rouge.exe who was the first one to have that power. Though, when she <laughs> when she apparently died and became the EXC again. Let's just say she had brought a really bad reputation upon herself. Oh. Turned out that she's one of she's one of the EXCs created by this so called Sonic.exe. <sighs> and turned out she was supposed to claim that power and play double agent. But she didn't. She failed because she allowed herself to get defeated by two idiots and double Raziel. Pretty much said, pretty much said that he was done with her and drained her of all her power until he got himself in a very bad situation with another weakling. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a run in with the people who actually stood up against them. 
Where their names I can go find them. The one against double the ones against double rouge are known as Shadina and Rosie. <laughs> and the, and other the one, one that the one that went up against Devil Razia Rouge the Bat. I'll maybe find her first. If she has the guts to confront me. Well, if she didn't have guts back then, she does now. Do you know where she is now? Maybe I'll have her next. Well, her location's very sporadic. From what I've heard, she's corrupted. Corrupted? Initially, when you see her in originally, she's a white bat. With I, I know an, the almost original emerald... picture. Alright. Then quit acting stupid. I'm talking about but... corrupted wise. Corrupted wise. She's she's black and purple with pink claws. And I think I saw a little bit of blood on her wings. Maybe I'll have her. Maybe I'll not. Only a matter of time if we do meet. But I do have a power that can actually snap her out of corruption for a bit. I could do that just to have her get the clear picture. Hmm. Oh, I'm not, but I'm not gonna free her. I'll just let whoever's responsible for corrupting her deal with it. But as for me, Actually, now that I'm looking at you, I think we can work an alliance. I am working on revenge anyway with Blade. Hmm. So, are you in? Why not? I'm in. On one condition. I mm -hmm. don't tolerate failure. Hmm. Fail me even once. I'll make sure a good torture could teach. learn your lesson. And don't say you can f don't fear it, but trust me, I'll always find a way. Well, one, I won't feel it. And two, you can torch me all you want. I'm not gonna feel anything. If you don't believe me, go ahead and hit me. You're not worth fighting. I don't fight weaklings. I wasn't trying to fight you. Just simply proving it. But I le you're, I legit, I'm not worth your time. I legit just said. I'm not saying worth my time to, well, you to serve me. I was saying, not worth your time by fighting you. Sure, I may recruit weaklings. Only for a reason. Just to make them more stronger. And again, I wasn't trying to fight you. I'm just simply proving a point. I 
don't want to still. I'm not wasting my energy. I'd rather save it for the big fight. And whatever this corruption is, not that I care about it. Don't expect it to take over for long. Well, thing is with corruption, I don't expect it to be around for too much longer anyways. with shield. Really annoying. When are they never annoying? By the way, how did you even find my area? I thought this was more secluded. You can't always hide everything from everyone. Especially if they can sense your energy. At least you're another EXE brethren. Well, at least, at least I've been called brethren now, rather than a s straggler. Or stray. That too. I've merely just been called that all because of the fact that I'm not creative with that stupid Sonic.exe. You ain't worth my time anyway. <laughs> Speaking of Sonic.exe, I heard Blade gotten into an encounter with him before. Which honestly... Yeah, I've heard about that too. Honestly, big mistake. Very big mistake. Honestly, he did the job for me. I'll give him a proper thank you when I see him. But as of right now, now's not the time. If anything, if Blade was stupider, I would have taken his corpse and experimented with it. I may speak against him. I wouldn't take him lightly. That bastard killed me 700 years ago. And it took a long time for me to come back. He killed me with his devil trigger, which I heard he got back now. And honestly, I still got a little revenge planned for him. Mm That guy with the shields easy. Hope you enjoyed the show. So far, so good. I would say some of the kills were a little too quick, but then again, this is one of those games, so. Kills are amusing, like I would do to my victims. If anything, why not keep them alive and kill them slowly? I do. I only kill ruthlessly when I get really agitated. Makes sense.
a gift. Take it. It will give you strength. Help you on your journey. If you can withstand the power surge. Oh. Let's do health first. Health is always important. You're still with me. I'm still here. Amusing, quite interesting. And again, kills are a bit too quick. Prefer mine, sl prefer mine slow and painful, but otherwise, still quite amusing nonetheless. Go ahead, run along, go say what you need to do. I'll call you if I need something. Very well then. Oh, and one other thing. Don't ever refer to others as weaklings again. It may come back to bite you. That already happened to me on several occasions. Farewell. <sighs> yes, whatever. <laughs> Some guest. But, anyway, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, click the notification bell as well, if you want to see some more of your truly plain doom. And as always, this is Blade.exe, saying good goodbye. And I will see you all very soon.